Well, News 4 is your local election headquarters, and in last night's elections, voters in Enid have recalled Commissioner Judd Blevins. Blevins, who took office last May, gained national attention for his alleged ties to white supremacist groups and for photos that showed him at the deadly 2017 Charlottesville rally. The result was a months-long campaign by the Enid Social Justice Committee to get Blevins removed from office. After gaining 60 percent of the vote, Cheryl Pat Patterson will now take over Blevins' term. News 4's Tanner DeLeon has more. Controversy surrounding Judd Blevins has been the forefront of conversation in Enid for months. And tonight, voices of the community were heard through their votes. We need someone other than a white supremacist on our city council. Concerns have sparked outrage within the Enid community about Ward 1 Councilman Judd Blevins. This is their reaction after the recall election votes were tallied. Blevins no longer in the seat for Ward 1 after being voted out. A city council member is supposed to represent everyone who lives in their district, not just the white men in the district. Everybody. That means everybody. It means women, um, anybody of color. It means LGBTQ plus people. It's been frustrating to watch somebody just kind of run over the city the way that's happening. NBC News digital reporters have been following the story for weeks. They were back in Enid tonight as the results were tallied, with the Enid community voting no to keep Blevins as Ward 1 Commissioner. Residents hope to put this behind them and move forward with new leadership. It's incredibly encouraging that so many people uh, came out and uh, voted to remove an avowed white nationalist and neo-Nazi from office. I think we're going to have a little bit of a period of adjustment, but we're going to bounce back just fine. We're a progressive city, we're doing great things, and now we can get this, uh, this glitch behind us and uh, move forward. In Enid, Tanner DeLeon, Oklahoma's News 4. Thanks, Tanner. Well, following the results, Blevins sent News 4 a statement, which reads in part, I first want to express my gratitude to my voters, volunteers, donors, and everyone who has prayed for and supported me. Adding, quote, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. You can see his full statement on our website, KFOR.com.